Hello, hello everyone, Casey here. Today I'm going to show you how to create these patriotic pucker lips <laughs> um, with the stripes and the stars on them just in time for July 4th. Um, the puckering lips has been a pretty um, popular trending uh, SVG design that I've been seeing. So I wanted to show you how to add kind of a fun effect to it and make it a little bit patriotic. I purchased these lips, so I tried to produce my own puckering lips, which was interesting, trying to take photos of myself and trying to find the right um, puckering lip photo on, usually I use pexels.com, as many of you know, but um, that just wasn't working out and it was creating a lot more headache. So sometimes as an SVG designer who sells um, designs, it's much easier to just go out, make sure um, to include the right uh, licensing, whatever you purchase, but to just go out and purchase um, the, the item that you need. Um, I will link to where I got these lips. Um, I think they were $4 or $6, um, super worth it. And I just made to made sure, to, made it sure to, uh, purchase the licensing that includes, um, commercial licensing for digital products, um, with it. So be sure to grab that. Um, if you want to create your own, I think that this file right here, uh, is a pretty good cut file. Um, you know, there's a little bit of waves and stuff, but um, I think that this will cut out just fine. And side note, so um, if you want to go and grab the ultimate guide to creating SVGs in Adobe Illustrator, you can go and grab that. It's at pinandposh.com forward slash SVG. And that is also linked to wherever you're watching this video. That finishes out this design. Um, SVGs, you can't just create your design and automatically save it as an SVG, it has to be set up correctly. And the more complex the design, the harder this process is, the more complex this process is, making sure that you have your um, your uh, files set up correctly in order to be exported as an SVG is important. As far as Google tells me, um, you really cannot find uh, a ton of information about complex SVGs. So um, be sure to grab that. Um, that will get you started. And if you want to go the extra distance with creating um, at professional SVGs, detailed SVGs, and need some extra help, I do offer that in my designer's course to SVG files. Um, my students rave about that course and really, really enjoy it because we go full in. Um, we uh, try out new designs each month. We try out different, a whole bunch of different fun designs. And if there's new features, we go over those. So, um, it's a great, great community and, um, and course and program to be a part of. If you're interested in that, go to penandposh.com forward slash course. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to grab my lips here and I'm going to use a old design that we have on our shop. Um, it is just a, a, ban a flag here. I'm going to use the stripes and the stars from it and the colors as well. So first I'm just going to grab the uh, red and white stripes here. I'm going to resize them. Get them kind of have that wave effect going on here. And my white layer is a solid layer. And you can recreate this yourself um, just using the simple um, shape tools over here um, in the rectangle, um, or you can use the star tool down here. And um, so let's go ahead and first we're going to select that solid white layer and then hold down shift and select our, whoops, our white layer and then our lips here. So both of them are selected. And I'm going to go over to the Pathfinder panel and press crop. And that will take whatever the intersection uh, is of those two items. Now, if I were to uh, try and do it with these, with these stripes where they're separate um, items here or they're separate objects here, it will leave, you can see what happened. It left those lines, those paths, and those will actually mess up our cut file. We go more into that inside the designer's um, course to SVG files and explain exactly why, you know, how pretty much how Adobe Illustrator communicates with the cutting program and communicates with SVG files and specifically SVG cut files that will work in Cricut and Silhouette 
in Glowforge. Um, it's important to understand that when you're um, becoming an SVG designer. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, let's make sure that this is a group and everything's united. And then let's select both of those. And instead, I'm going to use this divide function right here. Um, and if you aren't seeing your Pathfinder, Pathfinder panel, you can go up to Window and then check Pathfinder. All right, and you can see it doesn't look like anything has changed, but if I click off and then click, um, actually press A for the direct selection tool, you can see it actually cut out um, each part of the lip from these stripes. So now I'm just going to click and rubber band select some of these. Um, and again, this is using the white arrow, so the direct selection tool. And I'm just going to press delete and delete again until those ones are gone. Going to do the same on this side, delete, delete. And then we need to zoom in, whoops, and do the same on the inside here. And some of these might be kind of hard to see, but I'm going to click right in the middle of where I think that path is and delete. All right, just to clean things up a bit and make sure that I get each of the detail in the lips here. Okay, so now we are ready to add our blue. Okay, so I'm going to go up here and, whoops, <laughs> grab my blue object. And I'm just going to position it because I actually want the blue to just be cut out and I want it to be its own, um, its own object, right? I don't want the stripes to be there, so. I don't want them to be cut out of the blue anymore. So let's just like move this over. Maybe um, I need to like curve it around the edge of this one. And actually, let's see if it'll let us do that. Oh, perfect. Maybe, okay. All right, we actually didn't have to add an anchor point. I was going to say press plus on your keyboard and add an anchor point right here, if it'll let me. <laughs> oh, I got rid of my path there. Okay. Um, so he's going to say press plus on your keyboard and add an anchor point right here and then press a, and you can move that anchor point around. We just want to make sure that this side of the upper lip <laughs> is, um, is completely covered up because we're going to cut out, um, the lip from this object here. So Let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to select um, everything once more. And then this time we're going to use the divide tool and do that same thing. So click off and now we can just delete that away. And then once more, go into here. Okay, and if there's any other lines left over, we can get rid of those, okay. All right, that's looking pretty good. I think there might be a couple, let's see, in here. Okay, looking pretty good. Okay, so now I'm just going to grab that, um, that blue and actually let's ungroup everything. And this might be quicker if we just grab the magic wand tool up here or press Y on your keyboard, select that blue color and then press unite. And that'll make it all one object. Um, using the magic wand tool, it'll select all of the blue color in the document and just that blue color. And that's why I grabbed it because there were ele other elements there. Okay, so now it's just one object. It's all grouped together. Okay, so now let's grab our um, our stars here, and I'm gonna enlarge them. Um, keep them proportional. You can grab the lower right um, little white box there to resize and then hold down shift to keep them proportional as you're resizing. And then I think I'll just center them over this. I'm going to grab my blue again, and now use that same divide tool. With both of them selected, I use that. Okay, now let's just go around and clean it up. And it should have divided them out. And it looks like it did. Now we just need to go clean it up. All right. That looks pretty good. I think I would even um, make this little white piece of that star there 
and unite it with the blue. But I just lost my blue color, so I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool and change it back to blue. All right, so there we have it. There is our patriotic pucker. <laughs> I think that's what I'll name this um, tutorial, a patriotic pucker. Um, if you uh, want to finish this out, again, you can go to penandposh.com forward slash SVG, or if you want to go to that free masterclass and learn um, about becoming an SVG designer, um, how I replaced my income within uh, six months, um, I replaced my income from selling SVG designs online. And now I teach others how to become an SVG designer. So you can go to that free masterclass, the top insider tips and common mistakes made by SVG designers today. And that is once again at penandposh.com forward slash course. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.